Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. We are a Rod and Staff Union. How are you today? Thank you for watching my video. In today's video, I want to talk to you about love. So this is on the other side of the 1111 gate. A lot of things happened for a lot of people there, and there was a lot of intensity. Now, one of the ways that you know you're coming into the higher and deeper union is when things start happening for you ahead of time. So you may have set your clock and your alarm for 11 o'clock on the 11th day of the 11th month, and if nothing happened, you should look back over the past week and see what actually did happen? What's been happening for you over the past month, really? Not just on one day. And there's a reason for it, because for many of you, you're clearing out your cosmic history. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So even people that don't know the words twin flame actually will find that there are things clearing or you made a observe it around you with people around you and say, oh, that person's going through that, that one's going through, oh yeah, that one's going through that. You're going to see things in your family. However, I want to remind you, love is what you are here for. Love. Now, that sounds really crazy to say it, right? But you're not crazy. You know that some of the things you've been experiencing might have to do with love, but some of it can become very baffling where you say, what does that even have to do with love? What does that have to do with us? What is it? Why am I going through this or that? So no matter what you know, and a lot of you have done great volumes of research, just absolutely wonderful work on yourself and your knowledge base is good. You might know what numbers mean. You might know what angels do what, what their specialties are. What you may forget is that you are also an angelic. You're just here at the earth level. You're here for love. You're here for actually really receiving, but not only receiving, expressing. Some of you have been at this long enough because now it's going to come the time where you would say, how does your love wish to express itself in the world? That's actually part of your mission. How does your love wish to express itself? What does that mean? What that means is your calling, your career, the thing you would like to do, the thing you would like to do and make money at. And make no mistake, there should be a balance there. It's no longer going to be like ancient times where you're relying on other things to support you, feed you, clothe you, or having to stay in some kind of karmic situation to support you, feed you, clothe you, put a roof over your head, and so forth. Now, this is a gradual process for many people. Some people have already been at that for, say, 20, 30 years, and they're tired. And there's other people who want it very much. And there's still other people who've never had it. And maybe they need to have it. And they shall. Because you will get what you need. However, this is going to be where it is very individuated. And it's very subjective as to what and how things are going. So when people go out and review things and you say, well, you know, it says that this is going to happen. It says, okay, you're dealing with the world of what's illusory, what's real, but what you need to look at is what does love have for you? Because no matter what you know, your body is the real part of you. That is the part you should focus on. And it is something that, given enough attention, you will actually become adept at it. You're not here to not focus on it. That's a part of it. That's a part of the material part that matters. Your matter matters. Your light matter matters. The light you are matters. Your dreams. Do you know what the dreams are that you're experiencing? 
I will help you with dream interpretation because there are levels of dreams that you may or may not know exactly what does it mean, what is it telling you. It might be very significant. Or are you not dreaming? That too means something. If your dreams have not been there, if you're accustomed to it and they're not happening, what does that mean? I know about this. I know it. What it not only what it means, but what to do about it. I also know ways to clear you. That is what I focus on. I am all about the body and about the subtle bodies. Are you a twin flame parent? Do you have children? Please pay attention because your children will need extra help. This was coming up to me quite a bit, uh, actually for months, but very much so in the last few weeks. Why? Because for those people who will be in their physical union, your kids are going to go zis, boom, bang, and start acting out and doing things and maybe not being themselves and having to deal with their history as well. What's in your ancestry? And you're not going to go to Ancestry.com for that. You're going to come here for me to help you with your children or with the elderly. Do you have elderly parents that have suddenly taken ill? Do you have situations with them where their mental acuity is just not there? They're not sharp. Something has happened. They are suffering somehow. You need to help them with some life-changing experiences and what that means is maybe you're putting them into assisted living or a retirement home or you're downsizing or you're selling or you've got to go in and pick up all their affairs. Children and the elderly need extra help. A lot of you have been pushed through things simply so that you're in a position to be able to help. But if you need help to be able to help, that is where I help with guidance. What are the children going through? Particularly children that are prepubescent and teens will have the most challenging time with some of this, with their own ascension. Your children, like it or not, are here also to be sacred sexual beings. They are sexual beings. But what does this mean for them? It means that some things are going to be very different for them than it was for their grandparents or even for you as a parent. What else are they going through? Several parts of them are going to be adjusting. And some of it's just not pretty. And it's a very challenging time. If you need help with that, I help with that because I help with the subtle bodies. And I help you so that you're able to help yourself, your union. They're not here to interfere with your union. They're here to be near your union. So make no mistake about it. You will not abandon your children, nor should you. And you should take care of your responsibilities. But doing things the same old way is not going to help. Not now. There are new ways to do some things. Shifts at work and in your material world. This is something that if you've been out of a job, uh, if you've been uh, looking, seeking, things should start to shift for you particularly if you have made it the wish of your heart to do so. It should be something you like doing as well, something that's really up your alley because there are changes about that also. Your material world, what does this mean? It means sometimes that you have to be the one to make changes in your material world. It's sometimes time to take an inventory. It's sometimes time to look at the shadowy stuff that some of us don't really want to face. Is there too much of a drinking problem? Is there illness? Are you just keeping up appearances? Are you going through the motions but not bringing any real results and it's time for real change and it's been nagging at you? What has been nagging at you about your world the way it exists right now? That's some of the message for today. It is, you know... Are you holding steady on something and you're not understanding what needs to change? That is where I'm here to help you. Help you get the guidance you need further. Help you get your channels open so that the very specific connection to your merged higher self 
can come right through and help you. Because this is when sometimes people forget. You've got all these great gifts. You know a lot. You know about astrology and numbers and crystals. And yet when it comes to your actual life and the power, how do you use the power of love that you are to make changes? How does the law of attraction actually work for twin flame people? Because there's two of you. It's a little bit different. You should get your subtle bodies moving. That is what I help you with. I do that in my class. There's a class I'm running now for five weeks, Love for the Holidays. I'm running, I ran it from the 11th to December 9th. It is an online class. If you're not able to attend live, I will send you the recording, although it's best if you're able to be there live. I also have two other things. Pre-recorded webinars, back to the beginning, it's in four parts to help you. So this is an important one, and I'll tell you why. A lot of people feel like they've crossed the threshold, and they've got this, and they know it. And what I'm going to tell you what I learned and why I titled it that is it was time to go back to the beginning because there is actually some new things and you have to get back to your basics. You have to learn to go within and you also have to not ditch your other regardless of what they're doing or whatever you might think they're doing. Okay, so no matter what you know, if you've done their astrology chart or their numbers and you say, hey, they're this, they're that, I'm doing this, I'm going do -do -do, do -do -do -do. You could take that person and you could say do -do -do, do -do -do, white light when you show up, you show up, okay? I gotta go, I gotta do things. That's not the way anymore, okay? And you might be having other things going on. And you might have, you know, some friends that talk and they say, oh, you wouldn't even believe what happened to me. I have been so, so, so upset and I have had headaches and tension just for the longest time. Oh, that isn't even the half of it. I just, like, I totally, I can't eat. My, my gut is just, it's, it's on fire. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on with those things. If you're having some issues, okay, a lot of it is going to have to do with my other webinar called Leaving the Fourth Dimension. You are leaving an entire dimensional level behind. It will have an effect on your body and your subtle body connections. Do what you need to to have me help you ease out. Let go. Ditch the past. Heal from it. And boost yourself up. How do you heighten this? How do you go from feeling like there is some kind of a ceiling or something holding you? There really isn't. It's up to you to continue with your dimensional breakthrough and break down your entire fourth dimension. It gets weird. It gets weird and parts of it are painful. And if you're not letting go of certain things quite literally, you'll feel it. Okay, because now you're at the point where only you can do those things personally. Other people are still going to be living there. For a lot of you, you are leaving that entirely behind you. And it's not just about bad rituals. It's not just about, you know, this happened or that happened or that war. It's about complete removal and leaving. There's another cycle coming up of this, which is really going to throw people off because the further you get away from the old paradigm, the less understandable it is and the more of a body thing it becomes. So you should get your subtle bodies moving. It will serve you well. Take your head out of the mix. Take whatever intellectual knowledge you have. It's all fine and dandy. It got you to where you needed to be. Don't knock it, okay? Many, many helpful people along the way. But I am a true ninth dimensional healer, and that took me a lot to actually get my connection there. And yes, I had to do all these things, which is why not only I've written about it, but I teach about it, 
And further, it is a valid teaching. It is even copyrighted. Yes, it is. So you can either join my love for the holidays, have a personal one-on-one -on -one session, if you're not sure which one to help with. Now, I've recently come out with another session that I'm capable of doing, and this is to enable a depth that you might not even know how much you've been missing it. But it is to help you with the subtle bodies that deepen and heighten your love and for your love making with each other. Okay. If you're still living in the lower drives and the lower chakras, okay, that's where you're at. But if you're not understanding why certain things or you're struggling to ground, you're struggling to breathe, you're having other physical sensations that go on that go beyond ascension symptoms and you're saying, I don't know what this is. Something happened and you get that quick Scorpio energy that just like, you know, moves you, smack you, start moving it already. Okay? Because you can have people that dialogue about it. Oh, you wouldn't believe what I dreamed. I was dreaming and then I was on this island and it was populated by, by just women, but I was the only man and uh, somehow I, I had to um, turn out to be ruling everything, but it was sort of against my brain because I'm very shy and I'm not very capable when it comes to that. But they all seem to respect me and I, I just don't even know what that's all about. Oh, dude. This was, that's, that's like a good dream. I was dreaming. I had to kill someone. I, I just, it's so not me. I, I don't even know where this came from. I, I just, I'm glad you opened up because I don't even know what I would do if I, if I couldn't at least tell someone. I, I don't know what's going on. This is, I've never, ever, ever had it. Yeah, I know. I never, ever either. Okay. And they don't know what part of them, where is this originating? Where is it coming from? What does it mean? You can't tune in to next month's episode. It's time to get your subtle bodies moving. Okay? You can't do this with your mind. You cannot do it with your third eye anymore. Those parts of you are insufficient for the fifth dimension. You can't just, you know, go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. People still do, of course, but it's not enough. It's all about the love. Now, let me bring this back so that I may make this rounded out picture here. Being about the love means love. It's romance. It's sweetness. It's tenderness. It's those things that you see in films and read in roomy poems. There's a great guy from Canada. His name is Atticus. Some of you have heard about him. Beautiful poetry. The only way you know how to write that stuff is when you live it, when you experience it. And if you're reading it and you want it, that's what your subtle bodies do for you. Your subtle body is how you're able and capable of holding such a high love that you feel this and you heal all at the same time without it being a part of your brain, without that having to stay in your file cabinet of a head. How many of you would like to just be and just lay there until you turn like into jelly with each other? Pretty sweet. How many of you have had that and you miss it? How many of you have been saying to yourselves, Oh gosh, I've been doing the work. I tried it right out. I did this. I did that. I did that. I did that. Like, you know, I should be able to rest on my laurels now. I'm sorry to say it, but in terms of resting on your laurels or having, there are people that when they connect to their heart are experiencing more than people do with the mind. It's not that the mind doesn't give you answers. It's just that the love is so far beyond the scope of the mind. The mind cannot fathom what the body can experience. You know that because your own experiences have told you, I don't even know why, but I do and I feel and I know what I felt. 
And this is why I say the love is what you are here for. Yes, along with it, it helps to know a few things. I do incorporate that. But I like to get people back to feeling, back to removal. That is what I am here for. That is my gift. It's no different than if I were a gifted surgeon, a gifted psychic surgeon or something, a gifted architect, a gifted chef, a gifted author, a gifted teacher. How would you like to be? Do you want to be in love? Well, I have news for you. At your very first feel, you're in love. Love found you. So I sometimes have people that say, like when I went to California and I said, well, I'm here for teaching. And people said, what do you teach? And so I rolled the dice like I was in Vegas. I said, I'm going to just put it out there and tell people. And I said, I teach about twin flames. And some people said, oh, they knew what it was. Other people said, what's that? I said, your twin flame is the true other half of your soul. A soulmate is someone from a group of souls that's similar, but there's someone else. And they said, oh, well, how do you teach? And I said, I teach people how to get rid of toxic relationships and patterns and behaviors. And they said, are you a matchmaker? I said, I cannot match people to who God has already connected them with. And they said, oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, and a lot of times they will rem they'll throw back their mind and they'll say, yeah, I remember there was a time I met someone and we had such a connection. And people know, even when they haven't heard the words twin flames, are you on a twin flame journey? Have you been connecting the dots? Do you know yourself well enough to know what feels like something to you and what doesn't feel like something to you? Are you feeling maybe not just the same degree of love, not really an absence of love? I'm not here to rub it in. I'm here to get you higher, to boost you, to help the people that need the help to continue the feelings, to continue the high level experiences, to get your passion back on track where it needs to be. That's why I teach about the body because you're going to be doing this through the body. So when people say, are you a matchmaker? The match has already been made. Love found you. Love's going to keep finding you. And you're going to get dragged along behind love's pickup truck. Or you're going to pick yourself up and begin flying and sailing and surfing with these waves of love. That's what you do through your subtle body. It's incumbent on you to always learn. Because when you learn then you know. And when the next wave comes, you'll know how to surf it. How deep is your love? Are you willing to be without? Many of you, once you've had it, you'll say, no, I don't want another person to kiss me. I can't even sleep in the same bedroom as the person I'm with. That's very common, more common than you realize. So when I talk to people, this conversation, by the way, happened at Trader Joe's out in California. And the person said to me, well, how do you remove toxic relationships or abuse? And they actually started remembering times when they were abused. A lot of people actually have healed from some things and moved on. But that paves the way for you to have a deeper level of love. It is important to work on yourself. But when you're a twin flame and you're aware of it, it's important not to forget your other half. Your other half is the other part of you. You each are bringing things to the table here for each other. You're bringing half of you to your other and your other is bringing half of them to you. You have to match it up. You gradually will do so. When people say to me, what if this, what if people are married? I say, a lot of people are married 
when they actually see someone that their heart tells them is someone to them? What do they do? Well, the process already starts, for one thing. It's not something that I have to do for them. What I do for someone is to try and do things in the highest and best way possible using their subtle bodies so that it's easier. Breakups are never easy, even for the best reason. Some people struggle to leave schools that they've gone to or jobs that they've been going to for years or family. Some people struggle to leave the fourth dimension and leave the old ways behind. But some of those ways have not been optimal or they've gotten weird or distorted or abusive. We're seeing a lot of this publicly, but not a lot of people would know why. Why does it seem like the world is falling apart? It's because love is what you are here for. And the people who are the lovers are the ones who are in the first waves. Other people are a little bit dormant. They will know. They do know some because I talk to them. I explain to them what it, in the simplest language I can what it is that I do. How do I help? What is my gift? Are you mourning? Are you sad? Are you grieving? I don't like to see that. How do we shorten that? Grief is a process. A lot of people know that. But how do you shorten that process? How do you expedite it? How do you get rid of it? How do you feel and let things go? And not only do you not attach to it, how do you not leave it attached to you? I know how to do that. And I get it moving. And further, I teach you how to keep it going. And I supply you with support material. So if this sounds like the next step for you, and even if you're not sure you're on a twin flame journey, but either the idea or the words have caught you, intrigued you somehow, come and find out more. Come into my webinar, ask questions. These two webinars will go together back to the beginning and leaving the fourth dimension. Even though they may seem like a paradox, like just like a lot of paradoxes here on Earth, these two go together. You're going back and you're leaving. Well, which is it? You have to go back, and that's what some of this retrograde, when things start to move forward or things push back, it just gives you a review. How many times have you said to yourself, well, if I could go back, I would do this and do, okay, that was the retrograde energy. What did you forget to do that you need to do? And did you forget about love? Did you get so caught up in the moons and the days and the portals and the tarot cards and the crystals and the numbers and which angel does what that you're going like this? I don't know what I'm tuning into. Tune into your own body. Come to me for help to do that. That is what I will teach you to do because it is different. Everything is so different, and the reason is to disallow interference from outside things and other people. That's the bottom line. You should get your subtle bodies moving. That is how you set up things for your material world, and particularly for children. If you're a parent, if you are a twin flame parent who knows that you'll be doing things at the level of being a divine parent, what does that even mean? How do you do it? You have to do it through your subtle body. You have to do it at two levels. And they teach you how to do that. Why two levels? Because you are a multidimensional being. Maybe you've heard that. Maybe you believe it. But have you experienced it? That's what you want to be able to do. So come and join or select these. The links are below. If you have questions or you're not sure which session, email me, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you. I hope you're doing well, and thank you for watching. I will be back with more. Thank you. Bye.